This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. Welcome to Analytics Solutions channel. In this Power BI Tips and Tricks video, I will be teaching you how to change the colors in chart and table dynamically. But before that, if you guys are not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and also if you need any of our courses and packages offline videos please do contact to the below mentioned number or the email id you will be getting a link for downloading these offline videos and learn all our courses and packages without using internet and the prices are very less and affordable all right let's learn how to change the colors in table and chart dynamically in power bi Let's see some examples here. I have a chart here and you can see there is a drop down. Let's click on this drop down and I'll select a color. Let's say I'll select blue. You can see that the chart is getting changed to blue color. Let's select green color. You can see the chart is getting changed to green color. Then red and then yellow. Right. Now we saw this colors are getting changed in chart. Let's see another example. Here I have a table and I have one list here, which is something similar to the drop down. Let me select this blue. You can see that the font is changing to blue color, then green, then red, and then yellow. So, how to do this? How can we change the font colors and the data colors in chart? Let me show you how to do it. I have a Power BI file here with a chart and a table. And let's see how we can change these charts and tables color dynamically. So first what you have to do is you have to get the colors table. If you check here in this table, we don't have any colors mentioned here. So how to get that colors list here? Let's create one table by clicking on this enter data. When I click on this enter data, I get one window to create a new table. You can see that we have this create table and here it says name and a table name. Let's name this as colors or any name whichever you prefer. And here we can enter the data. The data what we enter here is all the color names. Let's double click on this column header and we'll name it as color and we'll give all the names here. I'll mention black red blue green and yellow if you want to make some more list you can keep entering the list and enter the colors in this table next step is we'll click on this load once i click on this load the table is created and we can use the column color in the slicer or the drop down so you can see that the table is getting loaded here to the data model. Once it's done, we can see that table here with one column colors. Now to create the drop down or the list, we can select this slicer. Let's click on this slicer. Once I click on this slicer, I'll get one small window like this. This is the visualization. Let's select the color from the colors table. So this field, once I click on this, this will be enabled here. And now you can see that all the colors which we had mentioned in the new table has been listed down. Let's change this to a drop down. You can see there is one small arrow here. Click on this and say drop down. And let's reduce this. Now let's do some formatting here. We'll go to this formatting tab. We'll change this to single selection. And then we can also change the font size here will go to this items and I'll change this font size to 20 so that it will be more easily visible and the slice slicer header will change it to 20. All right, now you can see the drop down the font has been changed. Now let's click here. I'll get all the colors what we have mentioned in the table, but when I click on this, it's still not connected with the chart. So how to connect this? This is very simple. 
let's select this chart once i select this chart let's go to this format pan and if you scroll down here we have this data colors option once i click on this data colors this option will expand and here you can see default color the default color is blue next to that color we have this fx there's a small button if you click on this a window will open that is for conditional formatting now once the window opens you can see that we have this format by we have this color scale i will select field value once i select this field value here i'll get one option that is based on field click on this drop down here we'll get both the tables but i will select the color field from the colors table let's click on this color and then i'll say okay now you just observe the colors what we have in the slicer if you select it that will be keep changing say blue color now it will change to green color red color and also yellow color if you would have mentioned more colors you can change it automatically i'll just click on this black right we learned about how to create a drop down add the colors to it and also how we can change the colors in the chart now let's do the same thing for the table what we have here i can create a new slicer or we can directly copy this so in this example i'll just copy it if you guys want to create a new one you can still create it i'll just paste it here now at last for sync i'll say don't sync sync will actually sync for both the reports the slicer will be synced so if you want you can just check our video which we have done only on this uh, uh, syncing of the slicers in all the pages but here i'm not going to do that let me just change this to a list i can see i'm getting this list here just expand this you can see i'm getting a list now how to connect this list with this table select this table we have this two columns here we should not go to this format tab here we should use the conditional formatting in these fields in this field we have one small arrow here click on the arrow you will get this conditional formatting and then let's select this font color once i select this font color here again i'll get the condition formatting tab click on this color scale and select field value once i select this field value i'll get based on field click here and then select the color field from the color table say okay All right let's move this a bit let's select the sales field as well and select condition formatting font color and same options here field value and let's select the color field here say okay now the colors have been connected you just click on this blue you can see that the fonts are changing to blue color green color red color yellow color whatever option i'm selecting here so based on that the color of the font will be changed in the table so likewise we can change the color in a table or in a chart in a very easiest way by using this option i hope this video was useful for all you guys once again if you think you want offline videos of all our courses and packages please do contact with the mobile numbers and the email id mentioned below we will be sending you a link where you can download all our courses and packages and you can learn without using internet and even the prices are very less and affordable i hope this video was useful for you guys and i hope you guys have liked this video if you like this video please give a like and please do share if you think that this is useful and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel this will encourage us to make more interesting videos like this and keep watching our channel for more informative innovative and interesting videos thank you so much for watching this video